Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Swapna here. Hope you all are doing well. You guys asked for more coffee paintings, so here is the next one from the series. Today we will be painting this beautiful Cleopatra. I chose this Egyptian design because it has some gorgeous details on the accessories and the crown. I'll be using a 200 GSM watercolor paper for this painting. To begin with, I'm drawing a rough design on the paper. I'm not adding all the small details but making sure to add the outline of the design. If you're a beginner or trying coffee painting for the first time, I would recommend to watch few of my earlier coffee painting videos to get better understanding. Coffee is a really flexible medium to work with. Even if you make some mistakes in between, you can go back and correct it at any point of time. I usually use instant coffee powder for this painting. For convenience, I have taken three different portions in three different plates. To get various shades of brown, I am adding different amount of water to the coffee powder. To get a lighter shade of brown, I am taking just a little quantity of coffee and more of water. And to get a really dark brown shade, I am taking less water and mixing it with really good quantity of coffee. As you can see while mixing the coffee mixture, one droplet accidentally fell on the paper. Unlike other mediums, I can easily remove the stain using a tissue. So before beginning the painting, I am securing the watercolor paper to the board using masking tape. Since we will be loading the watercolor paper with water at many times, it is always safe to secure the paper with the masking tape just to make sure that the paper won't bend at times. This time I am starting to paint with the medium dark brown shade. If you have noticed in my earlier coffee painting videos, I used to give a first wash with the lightest shade of coffee mixture. That will be the first step of the painting. But today in this painting, I am not looking for a off-white or light brown background shade. I just want the design or the picture to stand out. So I am directly painting on the design first. I am starting with adding the details of this accessory with lighter and darker shades of brown. When this portion is drying, I am working on the face. For that I am using the lighter shade of brown. For this entire painting, I am using a size 6 round brush. Just like the colors you choose for a painting, you can feel free to choose the shade of brown for each portion of the painting. Unlike my earlier coffee paintings, I am planning to add a bit more texture to this painting. As I mentioned earlier, coffee is a really forgiving medium to work with. So even if you make a mistake, you can just go backward and just correct the portion. You can do that by diluting that particular portion with a little amount of water and just wiping it with the tissue. So the possibilities are really endless with this beautiful medium. 
so you can just relax yourself and enjoy this creative time I particularly enjoyed working this crown portion which is in a form of an eagle bird. I'm just filling various portions with light and dark shades of brown. Now the first layer of the whole painting is finished and I'm going to add few details to the face and also I thought of adding one more wash with the lighter brown for the face portion. And here I am starting to work with this gorgeous accessory portion. You can feel free to add designs of your choice as details. Now to add some more texture I am going to add some marks using a toothpick. This is a new addition to this painting that I was talking about earlier. Adding these tiny marks really made some difference on the painting. And I'm not very keen of this little portion on the face so I'm just trying to remove that. You can see how easily that portion could be removed. As the painting progress I'm working on various layers to add more darker details.
and now i notice that this portion is left behind without filling the shape so i'm just painting this with another approach i'm planning to give the first wash with a lighter shade of brown and once that layer is dried i'll be adding details with the darker browns and that is how i did my earlier coffee paintings where i gave a first wash with a lighter brown shade and then after drying i started giving thicker details As you can see the net result will be similar but just the procedure is different Our painting is now finished but I would definitely love to add some bling to the painting with some golden liner for that I'm using a 3D liner from Marabou This 3D liner could be used for glass fabrics and other mixed media artworks. I'll be adding the details in the description below. That's how our painting looked at the end. As you can see how beautifully the golden liner has complemented the brown painting. And now I'm removing the masking tape and I'll be fixing this painting on a black box frame. Hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon for all the notification when I upload arts and crafts videos. Thank